we will doubt God's love. We will go through times where, where you know, God doesn't give us the things that we want or, or that he's delayed in doing what he's going to, to do and move and work in our life. And, and we just need to be reminded that God loves us with an everlasting love. That's the thing the enemy goes after. The enemy goes after in our lives. He's, you know, just as with, with Eve in, in the garden, did God really say this or that? You know, what he does in our life is that he causes us to doubt, truly, can I depend on the Lord? Can, does, does God really love me? And so he starts tweaking with that. And listen, the Bible says over and over again that God loves us with an everlasting love. God wants us to know that this is super important to him. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Hebrews 13, assuring us that God will never leave us, never forsake us. The book of Romans promises that there's nothing that can separate us from the love of God. Romans 8, 39 says, For I'm persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And this is so important that we would be reminded of this. Because constantly this is the thing that the enemy will attack. Does God really love me? I have people that come to me from time to time. They're like, I'm afraid that I've committed the unpardonable sin. You know, completely gripped about it. I'm like, yeah, you haven't. Like, how do you know? Because you care whether you did or not. You know, if if you didn't care, if you could care, because the unpardonable sin is just the, it's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. It's the denying of the Lord. I mean, if you don't care about that, well, then, you know, clearly uh, no problem there. But, but what's happening there, the dynamic is the enemy messing with their head, and, and it's just all in this issue of, does God really love you? Does he really love you? Yeah, he really loves you. And listen, that's good news, especially when you consider the fact that we are not nearly as faithful to God as he is to us, are we? 